Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dumpstuff here from the GLG channel. Thanks for checking us out. I uh, got some gameplay and a tutorial for you on hog rushing, is what I'm calling it. And essentially, uh, this is going to be part of a playlist I got going for um, Halo called In Depth, where I'm just going over a bunch of different um, aspects and um, different strategies and tips uh, for you. So this one here is called Hog Rushing, and it's a little bit, um, it's a really key factor in winning a lot of war zones. All you need is a uh, hog, which you can get at rec level two, um, which is right after the base. You know, you know, it's basically like 30 seconds into the match, you can get a hog. Um, get a good gunner, and what you want to do is basic premise of hog rushing is kind of get between um, the enemy guys and the middle base, which is usually what both bases are going to after they get their own armory or whatever it's called. So don't go right up the middle. Would be a little bit of advice here. Um, you know, try to stay around the perimeter for this particular match, um, their map, I should say, um, Stormreach or whatever, um, definitely go the, through the ice caverns like I'm going right now. Uh, another other little um, tip is if the gunner starts getting hit, uh, as a driver, um, which is kind of what I prefer, I like to drive a lot, um, what you want to do is you want to get your gunner as many kills as you can. Uh, so. The main thing to remember is if you see your gunner getting hit really hard with some bullets or from all directions, just get out of there. Um, one other thing I'd like to say is don't ever dr drive away in a straight line. You know, if you're driving away trying to get out of there just because and you just want to get distance in between you and, and another person, you're going to die if you drive in a straight line, and that's just always the key. Um, so one of the things to do is just kind of wiggle wag your tail around like I'm doing right there a little bit. Um, and that you can just do that by kind of veering back and forth slightly as you are going. Another little advanced tip is if your gunner starts getting uh, damaged uh, real bad, just have him hit the jump button and he can jump right into the passenger seat and hopefully he won't get hit as hard um, being not up on the gunner seat there and then you can uh, finish off the uh, finish off get, get, finish off him getting his shields recharged and have him jump back in the gunner seat. So you just hit jump and um, when you're in the warthog and it'll change you to an open seat if there is an open seat. So that's a good strat there. Um, couple other things if there's two guys um, it's good to coordinate so what you do is you know have your gunner know that you're gonna be trying to splatter one guy and he's gonna try to um, you know gunner the other guy so the guy that's closest to you or right in front of you go for him hopefully or, or the guy who's not looking because usually the guy who's looking will just jump over you so whether it be the guy who's not looking or um, the guy that's closest to you try to splatter one of them and have your gunner pick off the other one and try to communicate which one is going to be or whatever. Usually the one you're going directly at is going to be the one you're splattering. Um, yeah, basically this strategy it helps you me win so many war, uh, so many games. I mean, just two people that are good at warthogging can win war zones. Um, now, you don't want to be warthogging the whole time, although do, if you do get an Oni warthog, that's, those are really Red powerful. Confirmed. That's at rec level, le rec level 3, and that has the explosive shells. Those are really, really nice, um, and you can use those throughout the entire game, but they do become a little obsolete after you get past rec level 4, 5, 6, 7, when you, pe you people start wrecking tanks, wraiths, a um, bunch of ghosts are running around, big power weapons are out. Um, it's not as prudent to have a um, warthog then. So that's basically the beginning, or I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna finish up the video here because uh, that beginning part was where we did the hog rush. Got about five, six kills with it. Definitely disrupted their team a little bit, put them in a frazzle, um, and then ho hopefully that gave us enough time to get the middle, um, the, the middle base. Uh, so that's kind of the basics on hog rushing. I'm gonna do some more videos for every level and whatnot, and uh, give you some more advanced details. Uh, definitely give it a try, you guys, if you haven't been use uh, using the hog. It's really, really good. Um, and hope you guys are liking Halo. Hope you guys are liking these videos. Uh, please uh, give me a subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll keep on producing some good videos for you guys. Uh, thanks again, and uh, have a good day.